been here roughly for 34 years, yeah. And I grew up in the area, so I've, I've lived in Mornington all my life. We've got quite a history of Mornington. It's very private. Some of these places have been held for years by the same families for years, as it's handed down from generation to generation. Look around the walls and see the photos of yachts and things. That is another reason why the house is built as it is too. We had whales in the bay last year. There's dolphins go past nearly every second day. There's always something happening out there. And you hear the waves at night, which is lovely too. I've been a member at the Yacht Club for 60 plus years now, so I'm probably one of the original members, one of the oldest members. But I can remember the, the days when the Yacht Club used to be just a slipway down there on the rocks, and the Yacht Club itself was an old army shed from Balcom Army Camp. My yacht used to be down here at that stage, Courage. She was one of the original yachts here, quite a few famous yachts. In those days, you couldn't move on the pier, there were that many yachts here. I wanted something that was going to last forever, so it's built to engineer specifications as well. I was into sailing, of course, in those days. That's how I managed to obtain the, the timbers that are in the house here. All the timbers have been steamed on the front of the house to form the round circles on the front of the house. So it was built to marine standards as well too, the house. Um, and being near the sea, it's built to last by the sea, of course, too. Well, you've only got to look out the window behind you to get the, the best view. Our proximity to the beach is fantastic. We go out the back gate and we've got one of the best beaches in Victoria. I know every rock, round the cliff, everything. So we built the house from the best to last forever and that's, as you can see now, by the timbers outside and the timbers right throughout the house inside.